Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Vehicles. Fort Myers Road Depot in here. I'm going to have three Peterbilts that are going to be running from Miami West over to... No, we'll, we'll do... I'm going to do four of those. I'm going to do... Do I want four running that route? What do you think? I'm going to do four running on each route. We're going to buy vehicles. Peterbilt right here. I'm going to go for eight Peterbilts there at 4.8 million. Like that. And one, two, three, four of them are going to be painted dark blue. And they're going to go on line nine. And then four of them are going to be painted purple. And they're going to be running on line ten over here. Right. That's all of the new bits up and running. That is all of the new lines up and running. There is our fleet of Peterbilts heading on out of the depot. Look at them go. They look fantastic. Convoy. Has anybody ever seen that film? I really want... Every time I see this, I want to start singing Convoy. I won't. I, I, I'll spare your micro... I'll spare your headsets. So I'll, I'll spare everybody in general. Um, so I'm, I'm not actually going to start singing Convoy, but I, I want to. I, I do. I have this, this urge to start singing Convoy, which is weird, to say the least. Right. Why? Oh, there we go. Look, we, look, we got, we got bricks. We got bricks loading up. We got construction materials coming in. There. Road Vehicle 22 is taking some construction materials. They're on their way. They are heading over this way. They, they're coming up this smaller road over here before they come into West Palm Beach and then they're coming on down there and they're heading into the West Palm Beach branch right in there spin round and deliveries so it's not that one it's this one over here that had the two bricks on board and then we've got more deliveries over here so you've got nothing on you at the moment you've got nothing on you at the moment but we have got materials um, and stuff coming in. So eventually we will have rum coming into these different locations. It just might take a while to get here. There is Silver Fennekin bringing in 49 jars of rum. Good man. Randall White has got one person on board. On the road over here has got five people on board. We've now got this new one in here. Um, the Manor Road line there. I've got nobody on board that bus. I've got two buses here somewhere. On the road, he's got six people now. Right, that, you've got zero. You've got one person there heading over. Look, so we've got one person on here. There's four people are now going on to the hovercraft over here. I love this. This, this does, this looks absolutely brilliant, doesn't it? Doesn't this look absolutely wonderful with the hovercraft coming up to the harbour like this? Palm trees in the background. It's the most idyllic setting you could think of. Does that not look absolutely exquisite? Beautiful, wonderful. I think it does. To, to me personally, that does look absolutely wonderful. I, I'm really liking the look of this. I think it looks absolutely amazing. We've got the planes flying overhead. You couldn't ask for a more idyllic setting, could you? I've got one person on the bus there. I mean, yes, we're probably not going to be making very much money. Although he's 76,000 there. Now he's 92. You come in here. I've got a person that's waiting there. You're, you're going to come in and... 3,000. That's it. These things don't seem to be making very much money. And then he's racing off over that. So where are you going? Oh, he goes up. There's the bridge he's going underneath over that side. He's taking his seven people there. He's going to run over to this dock over this side. I'll zoom away from that and we get rid of that high-pitched squeaking. At the moment, I'm not delivering any rum. I've got the delivery port set up, but I'm not delivering any rum up there. And there I've just unloaded a few people. It's down to 48,000 on there. I got six people left on here. Actually, it was only one person that got off. I thought maybe it was a few got off and a few got on, but no, it's not that. So then you've got the long run. Are we going to end up turning that one into a profit or not? 
really hoping we do. Beginning to think the construction materials site over there is not going to make a profit with four lorries running on it because they're not going to earn enough money, are they? Six people in there. 27,000. That did drop down a bit, but now it's gone up with expenses. We might want to get rid... Oh, look. Now we're talking. Fruit, rum, cigars, they're all coming in. They are actually now starting to come in over there. And it's these up this side that I'm curious about. You've got one brick on board. You there, you've got two bricks on board. There's three there. So what do we got? Road vehicle here. You're making a profit. Well, you're, you're kind of making a profit, almost. Uh, you are not. You're losing your 72,000 in the hole. You are a fortune in the hole. So are you. And I imagine that one is as well. Yes. The first one in the line is the only one that's actually making any money. Right, that dude right there, he's got 11 bricks on board. So that shows us that we actually need to get rid of one of these in the line. So manage vehicle. Road vehicle 22 is going to be retired. Sell selected vehicle, yes. Right. So I'm down to three on that line. Then we go road vehicle 23, he's purple. He's going backwards and forwards. He's minus 100,000 at the moment, but we haven't had yet, actually. I don't have very much in the way of materials coming through to either of these. You've got nothing in there. You're not. You're just not carrying anything, are you? Why are you not carrying anything? You here, you, you moved a bit of something then. You over there, you've got two cigars on board. Right, road vehicle 23 is not carrying anything right now, so we will sell that one as well there. So we're down to three lorries on each of these lines. I think that is more beneficial. Then we look in here, we've got seven rum, we've got eight cigars, and we've got a little bit of fruit as well, which the road vehicle right there, 23 bits of fruit, that one is just loaded up. So he'll take that over to West Palm Beach and we'll sell all of that lot, which could turn this lorry into a profitable vehicle. So at least this is what we're hoping. So we've delivered two rums so far. 70 construction materials and two pieces of two two bottles of rum. There. 28,000 that one just took. He's got 14 fruit. He's taking that on another bit of a run. You're making a profit. That road vehicle right there is actually running at a profit. This one here is not running at a profit. And then I've got you over there. You're not really running at a profit either. But they do sit that they're, they're slow they seem to be slowly improving, right? This guy over here, he's got 14 lemons on board. He's got a bit of fruit. And there's some cigars there for him to pick up. I'm hoping he's gonna pick them all up. And then he'll go and take possibly take them to the other Miami one. Uh, so I'm down to minus 29. He's picked up the cigars. Now what about that one over there? He's got cigars on board as well. He's going to take them over there. Drop them off. Where's my other truck? One more purple truck over here. He's got... You're supposed to be bringing the rum to West Palm Beach. You're not supposed to be taking it to the others. They seem to be a little bit confused about how they should do things. So Silver Wolf is coming in. He's got 40 rum. He's got 55 cigars, 110 fruit. As soon as he lands in here, there will be a whole load of it. will go straight over to this side. So there, that's, that's how that's sort of being taken care of. I got rum over here. You've now picked up a little bit of rum. Where are you going to go with that? You're going to bring some of it down over to this side and then some of it over to the other side. I'm still only... I've got four jars of rum at the moment. Why are you... Why would you be taking it away from here? Miami... You're not supposed to be taking the rum away from here. You're supposed to be delivering the rum to here. I think that they they seem to be a little bit confused. The rum does not seem to be turning up over there at West Palm Beach. I think what they're doing is they're dropping it between these two and they're delivering into Miami rather than taking it to West Palm. 
which is where they're actually supposed to be running the stuff. You're rum runners. So run the rum. You know, if, if you want to be run rum runners, you've got to run the rum. Otherwise, it just doesn't work. You're starting to break even now. This is, this is you know, potentially a good thing. And there, like that, that rum there, I've, I've got two more bits of rum just there. And that it's, it's not going in the right way. How is that helpful? Ooh, five. Now we're talking. Right, you, you bring all of that. It was the bed in it. It's only going to actually leave one of them. And then the other one is, is not going to count at all. Uh, that one there is still running at a loss. You... Are you kidding me? Are you... There is another way that we can do this, and that is if we go to line 10 over here and we manage line, and then what we can say is both the Miami ones, we can load rum, but we don't unload. No unloading of rum whatsoever in Miami North. And West Palm Beach, uh, West Palm Beach over here, no unloading of rum either. Neither of them can unload rum. They must only take the rum and deliver it. Miami Exchange, West Palm Beach Branch. The Miami Exchange is no longer accepting rum. They will now have to take it over to West Palm Beach. And as West Palm Beach... Well, it's currently got no rum there at all. We've got a load of fruit. We've got a full load of fruit right there. Except it's only taken a little bit. It hasn't, like, done all of it. But the money is coming down on there, like the the um the amount of money that l was outstanding, the, the the negative number is getting smaller, which means I'm hoping that we're going to start making a decent bit of profit on these trucks running this line. So if you could drop your cigars off here, pick up all of the rum, and take that off to West Palm Beach. Nope, you're taking the fruit. Gee, thanks. Right, line 10. Miami Exchange 2, West Palm Beach Branch 4. Still. Just need to go a little bit further. Right, what about you up there? You're not carrying anything at the moment, which is actually really, really promising. You're coming in here with some fruit, and you're running at a profit now. $18,000 profit on that truck. This truck over here is coming in. This one's also running on a profit. We've just picked up six jars of rum in here. This truck up here is the last one. That is running at a slight loss. I'm hoping that's going to change round now. He's about to come into this branch, and I'm literally just about to take a delivery. There we go. Fruit, rum. We've got the whole lot in there. We got the whole lot in there. He's, he's going to take fruit first because it's the, the biggest load. And then that one up there is still running more. Right, it, it, it's going to take a while. We know that's going to take a while. So next up, I want to see how we're doing with the profit running on this line here. We've got Randall White there, minus 127,000. On the road, it's about the same. All of these seem to be running at a ridiculous loss. So we're going to start off by selling Dude Guy Man. Dude Guy Man, I'm really sorry, but uh, you need to go. You only had one passenger on board, that's why. And Randall White has got five people on board. That's uh, a reasonable profit there, potentially. You've got three. McStallion has got five. And over here, I'm all ears of you. You've got three. 138 minus 122. Manage vehicle. Sell. I'm all ears of you's gone. So we've got McStallion YT on the road and Randall White left. I'm hoping that a just a fewer of these running around means that we will turn a slightly bigger profit on each one because we're going to be getting more passengers per trip. Per boat racing through. This is what I'm hoping. So Randall White over here, for example, is coming into Key West. He's going to haul in up through there and up against the side. There, we've just picked up $25,000. I've got my bus that's running along here. He's minus 38000 Probably don't need two buses running this route. 
One is probably sufficient for that route. On the road. We'll leave it at that. We've, we've got several of them running through there. You are running at a loss. Road vehicle over here. Now these, these are running at a profit. These trucks over here, these trucks are spinning a very tidy profit. Thank you very much. Look at that. They are making a fortune. And then if we go in here, we've got these little dudes. Then click on him. He's making a loss. He's making a loss. He's making... Okay, they're, they're, they're just loss runners. Um, what about the actual aircraft? Devon 2018. Making a loss. Scott M. Making a loss. Right, is Sepulus making a loss. Everybody is losing money here. Hand over fist, money is being lost. Uh, what about Brempool? Okay, I think what we need to do is lose one plane from each of these. That seems to be the sensible option here. If we drop one airplane from each of the cycles, uh, we're more likely we're going to be getting the planes because you're half full yeah well you're supposed to be half full aren't you I said 50% of each start having rum coming in and then you've got nothing going the other way I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the planes that's this kind of our front being is, is set up there so I'm gonna leave those to, to run how they're doing at the moment We've got six rum being loaded up there. I'm hoping that that rum will then be able to be run through straight over to West Palm Beach Branch. We still haven't gotten caught. At least I'm hoping we still haven't gotten caught. Not officially. Now where's that rum there? It's just coming in here. Is that going to be all six? I don't understand why... Why is it why is it not unloading the rum? I specifically said do not unload rum at Miami Exchange or Miami North. So why is he bringing the rum back to unload at one of these other ones? He's going in there right now with six rum. What's he going to do with it? He's unloaded it right where I told him not to unload it. Line 10. Manage line. Oh. <laughs> Who noticed me do it to West Palm Branch and um, not to that one? There. I'm here wondering why on earth it's not working and I've got it completely the wrong way. Who noticed? Go on, own up. Who noticed? Who noticed Frithgar make a complete and utter fool of himself yet again right here? Okay, we've got nine barrels of rum in here. I've got a truck on its way down. There's a truck on its way down. We've got road vehicle 26. It's got two cigars on board. Needs to come in here and he wants to gather up these nine barrels of rum that we've got. And then we can take those over to the um, West Palm branch there. Nine. Right. It's got nine of them on board. We've just got a whole load more stuff delivered in here. i got no rum there. But I've got nine barrels of rum on board. Now you should bring those nine barrels of rum straight down here and you should unload them. I cannot believe I had that the wrong way around. I imagine some of you picked up on that. No, you... Oh, you didn't. He's got it on board. I, s I specifically said don't unload over there. It's, it's going to go and unload it over there anyway, isn't it? Mark my words, it's going to go and take it and it's going to dump it there. Despite me saying don't take it to Miami Exchange because it was already scheduled for Miami Exchange. Now I have changed it so that it shouldn't allow unloading on here, but if it was already scheduled for here, it might deposit it here anyway, like it's just decided to go and do. 
Um, yeah, that's that's just that's just wonderful. So I'm not I'm not getting rum coming in. Silver Wolf, you've only got 15 rum. Where's the rum disappearing to? Can someone please explain to me why there's no rum? Where is the rum? The rum is here in Havana Holt. They're bringing cigars as a priority. Havana Rum Distillery. Down here, I've got 90. I've got 170 cigars and I've got 19 rum. Okay, so what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I go to here. First up, what I do is I go... Actually, like, we've got plenty of rum on here. I'm able to take both of them. I don't know why they're on that one and not on this one over here. So first up, we will change the terminal over to Terminal 3. Like that. That'll take a little tiny bit more. Just a smidgen extra. And then we will possibly change line one to say right manage line should i stop the cigars flowing for a bit havana halt over there i'm gonna say 50 percent loads for cigars and change it over a little bit so they'll only do 50 percent loads on the cigars then you're coming into the annex over here, and we've got that. So which way round are they travelling? They go there, and then they go to the annex over this side, where they unload some stuff, and then they load up other stuff, and then... They're going the wrong way round. Aren't they? No. No. Um, I think I need to, like, reconfigure the way that I've got this set out here a little bit. You in here, you're way overloaded with cigars. There are way too many cigars coming in onto this port. And this is a bit detrimental to us. We don't want cigars in these kind of quantities. We need rum being carried, right? We're rum runners. This is the bit that's not so good. Okay, I've got a night. Right, so I've uh, got the rum going over here. I'm going to have to. We're gonna, we'll start a new line. I want a new line in here. And this line is going to run between the Havana Annex and the Havana Exchange over there. So we've got one line going between the two of them. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into manage vehicles like that. I'm going to go here. I've got eight vehicles on this one. I'm going to take four of these vehicles here. I'm going to color them pink like that. And then I'm going to put those on to line 11 so they will run through there. Then line one, we're going to change this one round a little bit. That one, we're going to alter this. I'm going to get rid of the restriction that I put on there. Uh, but I'm going to get rid of completely the annex stop on there. I don't want a stop at the annex. Um. Oh, wait. No, yes, I can have the... I can have that one on there. I want to get rid of Havana Exchange. Remove that one completely. So now all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be ferrying between these three. Like this. We're going to go one, and I'm going to go over there to two, and then we go back to Havana Annex over this side. Then we can have a look in here, like this, and again they've gone and put them onto the narrow side, which I didn't want them to do. You know what? I'm just going to configure these. I'm just going to um, do it like this, just to... Because why not? We'll add in all of these extra bits on here, like that, and boost them out, because they're, they're insisting on putting everything onto there. They'll probably have two routes working on that same line anyway, so I want to come out and I want to deal with that. Uh, there we go to terminals in here. Look, so we've got line three and we've got line four. Okay, that's, that's fine. Select terminal for this stop. 
you're on there, and then line one is over, that's over on that side, that's got some rum and that's got some other bits. Right, okay, that's, that's looking good in here. Then we can go out over onto this side, and you've gone and done the same bizarreness over here, which I really don't understand why you've gone and changed the terminals round. It makes no sense whatsoever. So I'll extend this one up. Give us a bit more space on here. There's a lot of extra space needs to go in there to make that work. And this is going to cost us a fortune as well. Those are just 24 grand a pop. That's a nice easy one up to there, like that. Right, so now I have got rum and I have got cigars. Filling up that one line there. There's lots of rum, lots of cigars. So what are they going to start taking? You in here, you've got 25 cigars. You in here, you're, are you going for rum or are you going for cigars this time? Cigars. I need them to stop taking cigars, I think. Because what, what I haven't, like, if I look in here, there doesn't seem to be, this is what somebody said, is, um, can I try, like, restricting the amount that they ship on here? And no, I don't think I can. I can't stop them from moving it. So I got Havana over here is, I got shipping in here. I, I can't change this round. I can't restrict the amount that the factories are producing. All I can do is just leave them to run on the roads. So, oh, that, that one's bringing some rum. Rum runner. And then, no, you're not. So they're still doing it with the rum and the cigars. They're not balancing it very well. There's a little bit of balance on that one. Where's this other boat gone? Silver Fennekin has only just come out. But overall, when we look at this, our main problem is that we're just not getting the rum being brought over. I've still got 10 rum that I'm waiting on. Now, if we have a look at Silver Wolf, he's just pulling into port over here. We've got 110. Uh, the cigars load up really fast. The rum, I've only got 8 on board. I just don't have room here for the cigars. And they're bringing loads of them in. I don't have room for the rum. This is this is a major issue for me. A really, really serious issue. And I don't know what else to do about it. And then you're coming down. Right, what are you? You're a few cigars. And I've got rum and cigars over there. You are cigars. Those are empty ones. They don't matter. And then I've got you in there. Your cigars. It, 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 there's too many cigars coming in. I'm going to have to stop them taking them or something. I, I don't know why I'm going to... Maybe I'm just going to have to stop cigars for a while. I've at least got one there with some rum. But why are they doing it in those kinds of quantities? Why are they bringing so few of the rum and so much of the... Look at this. How am I supposed to fit it all on board? Unfortunately, at the moment, we're not getting any goods at all coming in here to take off on the planes. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea... If you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.